Today is one I've been looking forward to, a genre I've always enjoyed each time that I've dipped into it and one that's gained a ton of popularity in recent times, particularly in the indie scene, and that's the Metroidvania game. How is this game defined? Where did it start? What games made it become such a big deal? Those are the kind of things I'd like to talk about today, and if you're here, you're probably curious as well. So sit back and hang out a while as we go into the history of Metroidvania games, how they're defined today, and well, what influence has got us where we are today. Now, Metroidvanias are commonly described as a non-linear game experience, typically 2D in nature, where equipment is used to open up or access more of the map. In fact, most of these have been one large, openly connected map as part of the main gameplay loop. The equipment simply allows you to access it or reach secret areas or, in some cases, unlock shortcuts. When did this kind of game come into being, though? One of the earliest ones of this type of game is called Brain Breaker. In this game, the player's ship crashes on a mysterious alien planet whose inhabitants have seemingly vanished. So you venture into the wilderness to find equipment and discover the planet's nature. I'm not gonna lie, this sounds a lot like Metroid. And I would say it's a clone of it, but it came out basically a, a year before Metroid ever existed. The reason you may never have heard of it is that it only came out on the Sharp X1, and even then, only in Japan. This kind of system would show up again, obviously in Metroid, and then again in Super Metroid, where the system would receive a much higher level of polish, and for many, hit the peak of the Metroid-style game as a whole. But where would the Vania part come from? And if you already know, well, just humor me, will you? 1997, Konami would drop a new game in the Castlevania series known simply as Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This combined an RPG leveling system along with a skill-based collection system. The new skills obtained while exploring the world would allow you to gain the ability to reach new areas of the world itself. On top of this, various different equipment would drop. None of this was as important to opening up new avenues as the Metroid style of game system but they allow the player to deal more efficiently with the bosses and the enemies involved in the game. This game actually received high acclaim at the time of release from both players and critics for how incorporated a leveling system and an open world system without really losing the feel or compromising the gameplay that Castlevania was known for as a series. It also hit at a great time in the industry as most games were moving to a more 3D perspective and this showed that 2D gaming was still alive, active, and exciting. This would change the direction of the Castlevania series almost entirely, with more and more of them using this kind of system and design, with some small exceptions, and keeping interest in the game type and gameplay active as more and more people got interested in the feel of open world exploration and the excitement of discovering new areas or secrets that were previously inaccessible, easily solidifying the game type as a go-to for many a player. Today it seems you really can't even turn around without some game entry having either a fully Metroidvania type system like Hollow Knight or, or in the Will of the Wiss, or some type of game system that takes influence from the Metroidvania type vein, with more and more of these coming out each day. It's especially become popular in the indie development scene, drawing more interest in not only Metroidvanias but Castlevania and Metroid as a series over the years. On top of this, they've influenced other genres by instilling the thought in developers that giving the player a sense of progression and discovery can be just as important as anything else in the game itself. However, what do you guys think? Can you think of any other genres that Metroid or Metroidvanias have influenced? What's your favorite game of this type? Do you like this genre of game at all? Let me know in the comments. While you're there, if you don't mind, leave this video a like. I'd also like to thank you for making it this far in the video. I hope you visit the channel again, and possibly follow it in the future. But, until next time, happy gaming!